Hello everyone. You might hear my little ones in the background. I've got one right next to me having her goldfish for snacks and the other one is teething like crazy. So I'm trying to keep her mouth full. Um, you see up here on the screen, I've got trade ideas. This is definitely an absolute invaluable tool. This one's like the most upward momentum the second day, the most downward momentum. You've got 60 minute opening range breakouts, gap down movers. You've got a top list that it will surf through. So you could go to, they also have three different AIs that you can follow. You can set up your own watch list of stocks that you like. You've got the alpha stocks that are going against the market, whatever way the market's going that are just breaking out. You can do floats, you can sort it in so many ways. This tool is absolutely invaluable. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Um, down below is the, all the links for it. And I also wanted to let you guys know, if you haven't signed up, I did set up streaming for Modern Trader Summit. I was able to do it. All this is brand new to me, new technology, everything like that, but I did make it available. So if you can't be there in person, definitely sign up. It's going to be amazing. We've got all these people coming to talk and I basically set this up to really help you guys. So it's an invaluable tool. If you can't watch it streaming as well, it's gonna be available online yeah. on demand. So definitely go ahead because it's a $69.99 right now and I will put the discount code for 15% off below. And if you go ahead and you buy it, it's gonna be there online on demand whenever you wanna watch it. So you can definitely learn from it. Other afterwards, it's gonna be going up to $99.99. So it's definitely in your best interest. Go ahead and get it pretty much 50% off with that discount code. All right, guys. And if you don't follow me already, go to cjanetrade.com. You'll see you got me right there. This is what it is, right? Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to do better every single day. The people that take action, make it happen. And we'll go into the watch list. I did have someone request that I do a little bit of a spy, oops, a spy review every week. Um, so here is my thoughts on, uh, we have the spy that did bounce off of this upward bullish trend line. It was testing down here for the 50 day moving average. This is our nine EMA and then 20 EMA. So it's definitely in a bullish trend right now. Um, it did break above this resistance of 27, uh, 273.15 and this downward trend line, which I drew, which is mostly off of the, you know, the past downward trend on the daily chart, you can see. So it, it does look like it's breaking out, but to be completely bullish, I would say it does need to break this 27, excuse me, 274.14 level. I think that it will come and pull back down again to test this upward trend line. So we'll sort of go with an, you know, up ascending triangle here and keep breaking out these levels. If it does break this line, I would say watch for it to test down here, the 267.59 level. But honestly, I think that we're going to see that this trend line holds in the upper manner. All right, getting into our weekly watch list. As always, guys, I am not a licensed professional. I did have my Series 7, but it is not active. So please trade with your own due diligence and your own risk management. First one on our long list for the week is Fossil. So I do have it on the daily here. Uh, if you go back, we pull it back on the 15 minute chart, you can see I would say support right here of 22.95 and resistance of 23.77, which is the 52 week high. And you can look, it's breaking out way back here. I had it on watch as well for breakout. So if you guys were watching it and you did break out, you could take it a nice $10 profit off of that. Uh, we go to a five year chart, you can see next level of resistance would probably be around 26.60 and then on up, I would say the next level to test would be around the 30s. So keep it on watch. Next after that, uh, also Fossil has 43.7 million in the float and 77.87% short float volume on Friday. So it does have more potential squeeze to it. However, on the this is the weekly, it's at 85% on the daily. For the RSI, we're at 92%. So it might have more of a pullback before it surges up again. So keep it on watch. It did have a breakout here and then it surged up. So it could it could go up again, but be cautious on it for sure. Uh, we have after that we have Momo and Momo on our 15 minute chart, I would say support of 4871 and resistance of 4993. It does have 106 million in the float and 17% short float volume on Friday. We are again at that 52 week breakout. It did have a massive move on Friday as did the whole market. The whole market was up 
doing really well. So keep that on watch to see it could continue up further on our five year chart. You can see it is breaking out really once it broke this 4684 level, it did have a surge and it's hitting new highs. Next on our list is Ecom Channel Advisor. Channel Advisor has 19.9 million in the float. It was 41.23% short float volume on Friday. You can see we're right here again, 52 week high. So watch for this to break out further. We are on the weekly chart, so this is five years. After that, I would look for 1560, and then 16 would be the level to really break before it surges higher in a big way. On the yearly chart, you can see this is our daily chart, which is one year. As well, you can see it's testing this resistance. And really on the 15 minute chart, it pushed up, came back, and then pulled down again. So just watch it. It could have some big moves if it does get the volume behind it. After that, we have band, bandwidth. So our 15 minute chart, support of 38.70, resistance of 39.70. Word, and it is at that 52 week high. So keep what keep it on watch for continuation. And we also have Trip Advisor at the 52 week high as well. Massive surge on Friday. Oh, sorry guys, her teeth are bugging her. It has uh, 107 million in the float and 41.58% short float volume on Friday. I would say support of 54.67 and resistance of 50. 537. You can see it did close up pretty much at the high of the day on Friday and it's been doing that upward trending all week. Really, it's been doing that ever since uh, May 22nd. So it's definitely in an upward trajectory. On our short list for the week, we have Philip Morris, which has been on the downward trend. It is hitting new 52 week low, 7805, and a resistance, I would say, of 7851. When we look back on the year, new low of the year, when we look back on the five year chart, you can see it would say maybe 7614 might, or 76 might be that first level of support that we're gonna find. So keep that one on watch. You might have $2 more before we find a bounce and support level. Uh, after that, it has free fall to go, going way back here to uh, 72 and then on down to potentially 64. So that one does have 1.5 billion in the float. Next on the short list is XEC, Simmerex Energy. It's hitting the close to the 52 week low. I would say a support of 87.48, right at the low, and 8833. We are on the weekly chart here. On our 15 minutes, you can see it did close pretty much down at the low of the year and low of the day. And on the one year, it is the low of the day. It does have 91.7 million in the float. Next on the list is mid MIDD for short float, 98.5 for support and 99.59 for resistance. It does have 54.78 million in the float. So I keep that on watch. The one year, again, we are right near that 52 week low. Five, five years, you can see, it does look like if it broke that, we'd look at for 94 as the next level of support. Next, we have Big Lots, which did gap down on Friday, and then it surged up, but it does have that downward momentum. It has 41 million in the float. I would watch it because of the retail sector overall. It could be pulling back 61 as support and 39.14 as resistance. All right, guys, I'm going to... Go right through it. JKS, shh, really quickly. JKS is our next one on the short list with 1513 as support and 1545 as resistance. And you can see it's hitting a new 52 week low. Just a minute. And I would keep this one on watch. That's the reality of having two kids in your house, still making it happen for you guys. Sharp and Profit sees those profits one day at a time. And I want to see you signed up or in person in Orlando for the Modern Traders Summit. It's all free. Thank you.